Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick and easy makeup look. The idea is um, to do a makeup look which will make you more confident in yourself but you only will spend 10-15 minutes maximum. So let's get started. And as often I will share with you my skincare routine because skincare is very very important uh, in my opinion to have a glowy and nice and healthy skin. So I will start with my Institut Estéderm Cellular Water. It's between a toner and a serum. I'm not using a cotton. I apply it on my hands and I massage my, my face and I press. So I'm becoming very red, don't worry. It's my skin when I touch it, but it's cooling down very quickly. Next serum with Pi Skin Care. I'm using the Back to Life serum. So it's a hydrating serum and there is some probiotics in it. So it's very great, especially after pregnancy, because during my pregnancy, I had no spot at all. I had a dream skin. During nine months, no spot, nothing, no acne. Since I gave birth, I have again some acne, but it's okay, I can live with it. Next, I'm going to apply, it's a sample, it's from Skin Sotical, it's Blemish Age Defense. This stuff is really great, I just apply it where I have some spot, so very locally, and it's, it's basically burning my spot, so that's why I apply it just locally, because it's quite strong, I won't lie, not burning my skin, but it's really drying my spot, so, and very fast, so that's why I love it. Next, I'm using my Dermalogica Multi Power Firm Eye Cream. I am a huge fan of Dermalogica. It's one of my favorite, favorite skincare brand. And this eye cream, I buy it once every year. It's a multivitamin eye cream, so you do it only once a year during winter. There is some silicone in it, but good silicone, and it will be so easy after to apply your concealer, trust me. It's my favorite eye cream, especially when you are not sleeping all night long. If I have some more on my finger, I like to apply it a little bit on my lips before my room. I also have the mask for the face, a multivitamin porphyrin mask, and this is a great mask. To hydrate my skin, I'm using my Suzanne Kaufman Normal and Combination Skin Cream. So it's the line F. It's a cocooning cream, very hydrating, but great for combination skin like me. And I love Suzanne Kaufman formula. It's very clean formula, a nice smell, but very fine smell. Again, when I was um, pregnant, I will tell you more and more, but it's true that I, uh, I couldn't wear any fragrance. And at first, the first three or four months, I was very sick. So even for my skincare, I couldn't use any skincare with, uh, with fragrance. I just couldn't. It made me sick every time. And I had to adapt all my skincare. And basically, this makeup, it's the makeup I did during my nine months of pregnancy. I was more focused into my pregnancy than makeup for once in my life, but it was a very nice moment. And for my lips, I'm using a sample from Egyptian Magic. It's a natural cream that you can use for your face, everywhere on your body actually. And here, I did a mask uh, for blemish and I shouldn't have because I have this kind of, it's not a spot, it's like a little bit of skin, which is a little bit burned. So I apply a little bit of Egyptian magic. More at night, but a little bit here, just to help the skin. So that's it for the skin and for skincare. Now I will move to makeup for concealer. During my pregnancy, I was using my Jane Aradel concealer, the Enlighten one. I don't know if you know this concealer. This concealer is great, especially for summer. It's a little bit dark right now. I 
I, I can use it too, but it's not brightening my eyes. So there's a little bit of apricot tone in it. That's why I love it. My favorite corrector that I want to buy again is the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bix and the Bobbi Brown Concealer. I want to try their new serum concealer. But uh, yeah, for now I have this chain Aradel, but a little bit dark for now, better for summertime. And I have my Laura Mercier that I will use today, so this is the secret concealer in the shade 2. And I really try to apply it here, not all over my eye, because I feel that sometimes when I apply too much formula on my lower lash line, it becomes very heavy, I really focus right here to correct my discoloration. So moving to my base, I'm using the Jane Aradel Mineral Powder. What I love about this powder is, is that you have the packaging and the mineral powder, they sell it as a refill. So this is my shade, I have a Radiant for winter and during summer I am using Golden Glow and as you can see, this is a refill, very easy and very nice and I'm using this kind of brush. It's when I want to do my base in like two minutes, I have no time. But I want to, to stay alive. There is an SPF 25 in it, so I really love that. And this is a very buildable mineral powder. So very great. And when I want, uh, if I have a blemish or something that I want to correct, I'm using this kind of brush. This one is from It Cosmetics. And I will grab this little one and push. The powder. So I'm using it as a corrector. And honestly, I can keep it all day. If I have no time, I always grab this stuff. It's the easiest way to apply makeup, even, even if I love a creamy product. I will move to my bronzer and I will use the Charlotte Stilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I have the light palette. So there is one highlighter and one bronzer. I want to add color on my face to get back a little bit of life. I don't have a huge forehead so I'm not really applying a bronzer all over my forehead. So I have a small forehead. So it always depends on your face. If you have a big forehead you can apply some bronzer on top of it. But me, I have a small one. I will just grab my Jane Ireda mineral powder to apply a little bit on my eyelid and I will take the same bronzer and I apply a little bit of that bronzer on my eyelid to get this harmony and a little bit of shadow on my crease. So now that my base is done, I will do my eyes. I'm using the eye tint from Giorgio Armani. It's a fluid uh, eyeshadow and I have the shade 45. It's a golden shade and I am using it for one year and non-stop, like almost every day. It's my easiest way to do some eye makeup. There is this lovely little applicator, very easy. You apply directly from the applicator on your lid and with your finger you blend everything. And I love it because it gives you a little bit this wet effect and uh, some luminosity too. For eyeliner, I'm not doing a strong eyeliner. I'm using my Bare Mineral Lasting Line eyeliner and I have the shade Eternal Bronze. So basically it's a brony bronze shade and I will apply it on my top lash line, but not really as an eyeliner, and then my top waterline too. And now I will curl my lashes with my Bobbi Brown Eyelash Curler, my best friend, because I really, really don't have curly lashes. My lashes are really going down, so I really need an eyelash curler every single day. 
if I have to choose between mascara and eyelash curler, I always will go for an eyelash curler. For mascara, I'm using a sample from IA. It's another clean makeup brand that I really like. And I love their brush with two sides, I don't know if you can see it. So one for volume and another to separate all your lashes. And this brush really grabs all my lashes. For my brows, I'm using my Burberry Effortless Brow Pencil. I have it for years, really love it. It matches my, my uh, brows very well. So I brush them down to see where I miss some hair. And I do some little strokes like that. For years I'm trying to make them grow, but uh, they don't want. That's life. Now I will add a little bit of color on my cheeks. There is two kind of blush that I love. It's some creamy blush. So there is one from Kaja Waze. So I love the packaging. Very heavy, but you can refill it with a blush. So I love this kind of product too more responsible and there is another blush that i love it's from ilia it's the multi sticks this one it's a coral shade uh, and the shade is all of me i really love it usually what i do is that i grab some um, creamy blush from my cadia waist the shade is the sun touched so i grab on my finger i warm the product I smile but not too much because when you smile your cheeks are going up and when you stop to smile it's going down so be careful with that but just to see where I can apply it and after I will dab it with my finger but if like me you can be coming red or you have a combination skin and the makeup can move easily even if I love to use my finger I'm careful with it. I like to use this kind of brush. Again, the It Cosmetics foundation brush. Really love that, blur, that brush for liquid foundation, for blush, creamy blush. Love it. I start with this one that I love. I apply more if I need. And what I will do, I will do my lips, which is a red orange bold lips today and I will adjust my blush later and see if I need more blush or no. So for lipstick, I'm using my Aramis red lipstick. So it's a very bright red orange. I have another shade of red from the same brand, which is more on the blue tone side and that I absolutely love too, uh, especially for winter, but when it's spring and when I want I don't know, when I want to feel more confident and I want to illuminate my face and my skin, I feel that uh, red orange is always a good choice, at least for my skin tone. So that's why I wanted to use it today. So what I do, I remove a little bit the excess of my balm because it's a matte lipstick. I will go directly from the bullet Okay, my baby is crying, so I don't have much time. The father is with him, don't worry. So if you are afraid to apply too much texture, just dab it like that and you can, you can blend it with your finger and get a more soft look. I love a bold red lip, so I'm not, I'm not playing at all. I'm not joking today, honestly. So. And what I like to do is always to draw my, my shape uh, with a lip pencil. So this one is from Dior. This is a 999 lip pencil from Dior. And I think 
as usual I will apply as I told you before a little bit more blush so I'm taking all of me from Ilia which is a little bit less pigmented than Sun Touch from Kaja Waze but that's why I like to finish my makeup with the Ilia and the Ilia is a little bit more glowy so that's why I love creamy blush it's really my uh, one of my patients the creamy blush on est pas mal du tout honestly on an everyday basis I will do my base and my eyes and I will apply the lipsticks so I can apply a orange lipsticks like, like this one, no worries. If I have one or two minutes more, I will apply a little bit of highlighter. Um, this one, this is the Ambient Light palette from Hourglass. And I am applying a little bit here to be like fresh and glowy, even if I fake it. That's why we love makeup, honestly. And the last, the last touch that I love to do, especially for summer times, but we are in spring, so we can start. This is uh, my pomiste from Jane Aredell. So this is a hydrating spray. It will help to set your makeup, but it will also add a little bit of glow. So because I was using the mineral powder from Jane Aredell, which is a, even if it's a mineral powder, and in my opinion, the mineral powder are always more glowy and luminous than uh, matte uh, foundation, matte powder foundation. I like to, to spray my face with this pomiste. So I'm doing it. And the smell is amazing, very fresh. So love it. And last touch, a little bit of fragrance. When I was pregnant, I couldn't uh, support any fragrance anything and since I gave birth I'm I'm wearing a little bit of fragrance but honestly step by step and I'm I can't really uh, wear again my Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel that I absolutely love so for now I'm using mon eau dynamisante from Clarins so this is a fresh uh, water fragrance it's very fresh so it's great uh, for summer time too I really love it so this is my easy and uh, kind of everyday glowy makeup look with a bold lips but if you follow me you know that I am a big fan of red lipstick so and when I want to be more confident I really feel that red lips can be a really good option. So I really really hope you enjoyed this video for the first time I was speaking through the video uh, I I did it in English again um, because, uh, I don't know, I wanted to, to, to keep uh, for now in English. I will see if I move to French later. Uh, it depends on you too, so don't hesitate to let me know about that too. And yes, uh, what is your kind of everyday makeup look? I would love to know. I wish you a very nice day. Stay safe, stay home and be confident. Bye.